Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review A Natural History of Dragons, the first book in the Memoirs of Lady Trent series, and this is from writer Marie Brennan, and this focuses on Lady Trent, who is a woman who has this fascination, wants to draw dragons, and wants to go off on this big, uh, big adventure, and... Uh, she is with along with her husband. She has this desire to go and go off on this expedition. And, you know, at first is shunned in ways because, you know, she's a woman. She shouldn't be going on this kind of thing. But it's just really remarkable, this story. I really appreciate this, which, a fun story. I saw this book. I'm like, oh, this looks like a cool, like, fake history book this would be really cool no it's a novel and I should have read into it more before I got it but honestly I really enjoyed it I think our protagonist is interesting she's powerful she's confident she wants to do what she wants to do and she's not afraid to tell her husband and there's some really sassy British stuff <laughs> towards the first th like the first part of the book this is broken up into four parts I really love the dynamic between husband and wife. I think that really adds dimensions to the story, and especially for Lady Trent, who we can get behind and really appreciate. And this is a great adventure story. It really incorporates the dragons well. It's interesting in that way. It's perilous. There's danger. There's action. There's excitement. And it all really comes to life pretty darn well in this book. And I think Brennan does a great job of bringing that all to life. I do feel like this story has some interesting and pretty poignant perspectives on sexism at the time in this particular era. And that push against her to come on this adventure because, you know, she's a woman and she shouldn't be out on this adventure. But we're treated to some danger there's real danger, there's weight in this story and consequences, and that makes it more thrilling in that way. It keeps you on the edge of your seat, never quite sure exactly what's going to happen, but it's this wonderful mixture of like relationship drama along with fantasy, this appreciation for this art of sketching, and you have this woman who's predominant dragon naturalist and really trying to make an impact here this story is really impactful i really enjoyed it and it definitely makes me want to go check out some of the other books in this series but those are my thoughts on the natural history of dragons let me know what you think and let's talk some books but thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your wasteland reviewer